watch this. Let's get the business pretty clear. I'm gonna do what you want to watch you. She was in my back. I'm gonna cop me a house. But a nigga, not the nigga. Are we live? One, two, one, two, welcome to the T-Club. My name is Heaven Moza. Let's say good morning, Africa. Good morning, world. Good morning, Houston. Good morning, Texas. Good morning, Texas. Good morning people. Good morning. How are you guys feeling today? Woo! Hey. Kiki Lane and building! Do not take Kilo in the building. That's right, Rose Picaro. That's right, CEO of Assessor Consulting in the building. K Kilo dropped a brand new album. My name is Heaven Moza. I'm the T Club. I'm here with Gigi. What's up, Gigi? Gigi Sway. That's right, Gigi got the K Kilo merchandise. K Kilo, where's our merchandise? Oh, you know what's so crazy? When I left on my house, I was like, damn, I forgot to bring him in his shirt. And I said, I was like, I'm gonna bring him in a shirt. Jeez. I swear, I'm gonna have Gigi bring it back up here for you. That, no, you come back for that. Too. All right, all right. I'm gonna bring it back. <laughs> I promise. I promise. Do a low ratio. Ladies and gentlemen, it's K Kilo. That's right. The super one, that's right, Houston's finest, that's right. Just dropped the brand new album, Welcome to the Tea Club, Mommy. We got Asha Tracks in the building. Hi. Congratulations on your graduation, Thank too. Thank you. She's officially a nurse, that's yes. right, she can be a night nurse. Yes. That's yes. right, yes. personal nurse. No. That's right. <laughs> she can be a nurse, too. <laughs> we got Megan. The Black Stallion, not Megan the Stallion, but Megan the Black Stallion in the building. Megan, welcome to the show. Megan's gonna be a dentist, by the way. So we're gonna keep, we're, we're gonna try and keep Megan on the low key. Oh yeah, right? we, need, we need her on, we need her on the team. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We need her on the team, but, but let, let her twerk first. Let's see if we can get her to twerk. Oh, well, can can you twerk? twerk? Uh, well, we got Rose Picaro. Twerking dentists. It's a, it's a Houston. It's, wow. it's K Kilo. Is it not every girl in Houston knows how to twerk? Is that true? I hope no. so. But no, I be seeing some bitches breaking their back. Oh no, not the team. Breaking back. They try. But I mean, the bitches that be around me, they be shaking ass. Nah, I'm okay. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm gonna say, I want like, the strippers that crazy bull, they be throwing ass. I fuck with them. Exactly. Shout out crazy bulls in the motherfucking building. Rose in the building. Rose, how you feeling today? I'm good, I'm good. How are y'all? That's fine, thank you. Rose, like, where, where your girls at? Uh, I'm actually texting them for a job for tonight. <laughs> right now. Funny, uh, Rose is busy. Funny. And then we got yeah. Destiny. That's right, Destiny from Balance Perfection. That's right. Yeah. Oh. That's right. She, she she's got wonders. She got wonderful products here. That's right. She gave me a ring. That's right. <laughs> Are you single, Ro uh, Destiny? I'm married to myself. Come on. Yes. Oh, 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 okay. Myself and I. We got Indigo, that's right, she's not a witch. <laughs> that's right, she's a spiritual consultant. She goes by the name of Indigo. And she's also a model. Shout out to Indigo. She gave me a reading today, so now I need to get my life in order. It's part of what I do. I doubt if that's gonna ever happen, but it's okay. <laughs> we got Simone, that's right, coach, model coach in the building. Hi Simone, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are gang gang. <laughs> gang gang in the building. That's right. Allah's in the building. That's right. Allah, how are you feeling today? Fine as one, fine as one. Fine as one, smooth GQ. Marquis from DQ Hooker, that's why I'm sponsoring the show today. Marquis, how are you feeling? Great. That's nice. Well, <laughs> thank you for the hookah, that's right. I haven't tried it. How's the hookah, guys? It's great. Right. Right. It hits smooth, mm, 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 mm. yeah. well, Watch out for the fire alarm, please. I don't want to get kicked out. That's right. And we got Ashley. Hello. Ashley, how are you feeling? Now, I'm really digging this your what, what type of vibe is this? What, what, what vibe are you going to come with today? This, I'm coming with this vibe of me. This is actually how I This is the Ashley feel. vibe. This is, this is Ashley. That's right, this it's a nice Ashley. thing. That's right, save some for me. <laughs> and we've got Kayla over here. Kayla, how you feeling, mommy? Hello, I'm great. That's right, what you do, Kayla? Um, I'm in school for psychology. I have a candle business. I bartend, you know. That's right. That's you single? No. Well, See. Why are you married? Ooh, okay. Let me see. Oh, no, 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 no. Not, uh, <laughs> what? What? It's just a she promise ring. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you one too. So you can have two promise rings. Oh, you gotta keep your options open, right? Okay. Options. But we're here for K Kilo. That's right, it's a K Kilo party. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. K Kilo, how you feeling? I'm feeling now, I'm good. Hey y'all, I'm sorry if I didn't speak to y'all. I'm sorry, this is not even like me. So nice to meet all y'all, nice to meet all y'all. I'm sorry, what's up? Hey, it's my so We're celebrating your brand new album. What's the name of this album? Stop calling me 
Oh, you okay. Sound like an album. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. But you know, like, you come with an album, you gotta come with this shit. I know I came with this shit, but listen, I gotta. You yeah, you came with that. You came with this. Yeah. I need bitch. Never get a text. Yeah. Man, that's how you get it. Spend these facts. New track from K Key. Let's go. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the T-Club. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a party started. That's right, my name's Heaven Mozart. Oh, Gigi, Gigi's got a separate conversation going on with uh, Kate Keeler today. No, 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 I just sounded like, you know, the headphones is really loud. Yeah, 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 I understand, I know. It is loud. That's not, but this album is fire too, and it's loud. But okay, Keila, let's swear you in. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, all my girls, all my people. Oh, we're sharing shea butter. Shea butter, baby. Shea butter. That's right, when you hang out with black people, we share shea butter. That's right, go put this some shea butter on my knuckles, and my elbows, and my knees, and my ankles too. That's right, they, they all need some. I've never seen a shea butter. That's right. Uh, 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 can I ask you for the That's how you know it's good when you're gonna. We're putting on some shea butter while we're listening to Kid Kino's brand new album. I'm gonna go to one that's on That's right. So, Kit Keeler, can we swear in? Where's your, where's your tea, mommy? It's right here. Ladies, gentlemen, cups up. Kit Keeler, do you solemnly swear to spill the whole tea? Hey. And nothing but uh -uh. the tea. Uh -uh. <laughs> I got y'all. You got us? We're in the building. That's yeah. right, we're ready to go, that's right. So, Gigi, I know you got questions for Kit Keeler. Gigi's, um, shout out to Davo, that's right, see your domination too. Davo, I see you, daddy. Davo. Thanks for letting Kit Keeler Stop come through. I know you're busy. Oh. What you say, mommy? <laughs> uh oh, she's spilling tea. I just be talking shit. That's oh, what she said, stop sliding his DM. She's spilling tea. It's a tea club. Don't slide in Dama's DM. That's right. Okay, Kilo, be like. That's right. She said she catches checks that don't bounce. That don't, that don't, that don't. She makes sure y'all heard that. She don't bounce. That don't bounce. Well, let me let me ask you a first question. Then, Gigi, you go. Well, what's up? So why you call the album You Ain't Had That? Um, so I got this little saying I came up with when my first freestyle I ever dropped. It was, K Kilo got keys for locks. You ain't heard yet. I rock solo. Bitches faker than their purses. And a lot oh. of people fuck with that. And I tag that on faker everything I do. Yes. All my shows and everything. And then I was just like, shit, I'm going to name that bitch You Ain't Heard Yet. Because I feel like it could start a conversation on top of a conversation. Like, say so, if somebody walk up to you and be like, you heard that K-Kilo, you ain't heard yet? You gonna be like, nah, I didn't hear it yet. And they like, nah, that's what it's called. You ain't heard yet. So I just I just put it like that, and it's a part of my tag. Yeah, so. I fucks with it. It's beautiful. Thank you. That's right, and then you were wearing, what's the name, boxing shorts? And then you had your braids? Oh, yeah. Oh, like, I know, it was some ponytails. But what's the, what's the concept behind the artwork? Um, I just wanted to be different. You know, like, the people that inspired me was... Lauren Hill, Missy Elliott, and Tiana Taylor. I like all these yes. vibes. So it was just like, I just wanted to be different. I didn't want to look like every female rapper with, you know, my ass out, tight pants and yes, stuff like that. So I wanted to just be very different. I wanted to be fun. I wanted to be popping, you know, like that. So I just be putting my own little unique style together. You will never see nobody wearing no MMA shorts. But I know if I would have wore it as a fit, I would have made it the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's make that, I think. It was cute, though. Y'all should go get them bitches. They cute. They got all colors. So we they got merchandise. Amazon. We got merchandise on lock. They on Amazon. They I'm about to say, make them cute little things. I sure should get line. some shorts like that. Yeah, so cute. just go to Amazon and I can do, just Google K-Kilo? Now, you know what? I'm going to get them bitches made, bro. You need to get that made. Okay, you know that down. Exactly. So make sure. Oh, this, y'all, I be working with Ro all the time. Ro be getting a lot of shit done for me. 
Yeah. So what does Rose do for you? What does she do for you in this album? She's really, she's, well, she's really like my creative director. So anytime I need like a party done, merch done, websites, anything like that, I just go straight to her. You know what I'm saying? She got a lot of connects in Houston. I just moved out here. So, you know, I fuck with her because she the voice that could get me wherever I need to go. I think. Well, Rose. Well, damn, I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rose, what you? Why do? Why do you choose to work with Kay Kilo? Money. No. Uh -huh. You know what? Honestly, I'm be real with you. Like, Kay Kilo has a very, very good heart, and she's a very good person. And um, of course, I met her through my fake play brother, different mothers, but we came from the it's same soul type thing. Yeah. Adaba. Adaba. Okay. I've been on Adaba for a long time, and so um, I met her through him, and damn, we just. I was like, damn, I like her. She good people. So then I found out she was a fucking star, so I was like, shit, let's get on it. <laughs> yeah, she is a star. Let's get, on it. Let's get to work. She know, is a star. Definitely. Yeah. Albums on Flint, yeah. But what? EP? Yeah, it's the EP. So what, what, what do you mean by it's an EP? Like, well, I don't, I mean, because it's only like six tracks on there. You know, an album, you got at least 12, 10, yeah. 15 songs. I just wanted to give people something to show them like, oh, I'm not playing, I'm on your ass, you know? Because I had like freestyle out and I had handstand out. And it was spinning, but I was just, I just felt like people, they were still trying to compare me to other female artists. I so that. I had to go ahead and just show them I am completely different. Now you don't hear that conversation no more. Right. They don't compare me to nobody no more. Well, but at first, you they was comparing me to Megan, they was comparing me to Saw Sawi, Sweetie, however you say her name. I, no, no disrespect, but they Jesus was comparing shots. me to them. And I didn't want to sound like them, you know what I'm right. saying? They they got their own lane, you know what I'm saying? They talk about what they talk about in their songs. I hardly even talk about fucking niggas taking niggas money or popping my, or how good my pussy is in my songs. Like, my songs are just really, if you listen to it, it's going to put you in a good mood. <coughs> if you listen to it, it's going to make you want to boss up. If you listen to it, it's just going to really make you just want to... Like, yeah, just be like, okay, we do that. That's definitely the vibe I got. You know, yeah, so that's just what I tried to give people because not a lot of female artists doing it. Everybody rapping about scamming a nigga, taking a nigga money, fucking a nigga, how good his pussy is, so I'm going to take your man. I don't really rap about stuff like that. I just be, you know, yeah. popping my shit. That's right, she talks big talk. But I'll be banging those. <laughs> Kilo. Kilo. You probably heard that I was whack from a hate hoe. I throw you a perm to relax, so I'm banging those. And I don't know how to hate you. I actually got a question for her. So Casey, if we want to buy or if we want to listen to your EP, where can we download it? What platforms are you on? All platforms. All I'm platforms. on Spotify, YouTube, okay. fucking Apple Music, Tidal, iTunes, iTunes, iTunes Pornhub. <laughs> 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 I just, I just, I just, I'm just saying, my shit on everything. My shit on everything. I'm just saying, the late night. Late night. But I'm telling y'all, my shit, it's everywhere. So it's, it's really, if you say you can't. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, he's on Pornhub? Huh? No, it's not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all yeah, made somebody get a video? Too. So it's a guy. It's a guy, right? Whenever he be shouting, it's like he get paid to shout people albums out, right? Yeah. I forgot his name. But he be saying, go get that bitch. He be on iTunes, YouTube, Pornhub. He be saying that. Oh, it's yeah. funny. It's funny. <laughs> so that's why I say that because I be watching him. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, the big dude. Yeah, the big dude. <laughs> he be saying that about He be like doing like major artists. Yeah. So he be saying shit like that. Is he in Houston? Nah, I don't know. He, he, he from the South, though. He from the South. Yeah, he cool, though. He cool. Yeah. He might have some on Pornhub, somebody shaking their ass, though. Wow. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I said that at my EP party. I said, shit, I don't care if you put my song on your OnlyFans page. Shit, as long as it's on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no shade. Just as long as it's on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no shade. Just as long as it's on there, bitch. And I, I saw, swear to God. And I saw the EP party was actually lit. It was, it was oh, packed. Oh, yeah, it was like it was packed. I didn't even expect like that kind of turn out. No, but it people was are really, A lot of people RSVP. Yes, and people like, are really messing with your music. They're like yeah, really yeah, going yeah. deep into it. I really, I really appreciate it. Being that I just started dropping music in April, I just really appreciate all the love. In April. Just, in April. <laughs> wow. I just the drive though. My drive is crazy. I don't stop. I don't sleep. Like I don't. I like I write a rap every day. Or if I don't write a song, I like I either write a song or I rap every single day yeah. just to get better. Yeah. You want to rap for us right now? <laughs> You, you want a beat? <laughs> you, want me to, you want me to find a beat for you? Go crazy. No, you know, you know, you know I'm a, I don't know, I'm gonna do Alcapella, all right? Oh, Come on, Alcapella. Excuse me, but let me, on, let, 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 let me, let me warm you up. Shout out to Dr. Barry, he's in the building too, that's right. Mm -mm. Dr. Barry, just in case of emergency, we, we know we have a doctor on hand because okay. shit could get lit. Cake Healer's about to rap. Fire, fire! Leg out. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Kilo on the mic. Jesus, let's go, mommy. Uh, see, I'm all worried about today. I'm worried about being bad. Alright, y'all ready? Yeah. Alright. 
Okay, I ain't got no headphones on nothing to vibe out. All right, <laughs> bet. Okay, go. Take GGs. Let's grab it. Bad little bitch, you want to beat it like drums. I could buy it if I wanted. I like spending your funds. Turn the center to a Christian. Got him speaking in tongues. Hit it in the elevator. I ain't talking to lunch. Double CCC on everything that Chanel. I be dripping, I be dripping, so they follow my trail. Now these bitches mad at Kilo. Got them pressed like Chanel's. Can never send for me, little baby. I ain't checking the mail. Got to start and line up with blue checks in my DM. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, it's just sort of the top. Oh, okay, I can finish. I can finish. Yeah, she can. Got to start and line up with blue checks in my DM. I'll be playing on they top when I say I'm a CM. They be sweating me like songs. I ain't been in no gym. Head turn on when I walk in. Now they calling me Tim, bitch. Yeah. Huh. Y'all were <laughs> I have a question for you though. I got a question for you. Okay. So earlier I was saying when I was listening to your music, I was like, I feel like I could picture you in the studio like lit. So I'm wondering like what is your creative space? Like what do you do to prepare to record and how do you kinda get in the zone? Yeah, I know it's so crazy. When I be in the studio, it'd be me and the engineer. Really? And you just be vibing. And I just be vibing. Like sometimes when like if I'm doing a feature then other people be in there, but normally when I go, it'd be me and the engineer or probably like my bar friend or he'll come with me or something mm -hmm. like that but I don't really be turning the studio and they told me I need to start bringing girls to the yeah. studio and be turned and I was just like okay I should but she a nurse <laughs> Uh, she, they, they don't really, you know, like, you always need a nurse. I need some turn up friends. I need some turn up friends. Okay. Oh, yeah. you, you, so, you, you, you got a turn up friend? I know you got a turn up friend. I know you fucking lying. No, 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 no. She says she's a turn up friend. Let's see. Let's see. Megan, how do you turn up to this? Oh, no. I don't. I'm not going to turn up. I'm 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 going to Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we got to close the door. Right? Right? <laughs> the door's closed. I'm shy. I can't. I can't. I'm so shy. I'm sorry. So, Kilo, are you like a are you like a get in the studio, listen to the beat and just kind of go for it or are you like I'm gonna write a little bit, prepare, get a topic and kind of like so I may I kind of do all the work at home mm -hmm. already. Like I got a producer. I only really rap on his beats. His name is B Nova. Mm -hmm. So he and he B from Nova? Atlanta. Yeah, B Nova. He sure. produced half of all the track. He only it's only one song on my EP, the Big Talk that he did not produce. He produced every other song on it. Shout out to him. Yeah, shout B out to B Nova. So whenever he sent them to me, that's when I buy about it and I write it because I don't really like to waste time in the studio, you know, because it's right. extra money. So I just be like, I make sure I get everything together, and then when I get to the studio, I just lay it out. But it's so weird. It's like I could listen to the beat, and the beat gonna tell me what to say, but I gotta turn it off to write. I don't know why. I gotta yeah, be complete yeah. silence me, so I could think. Let me piggyback off that. So, so you write your own music? Yes, I a hundred percent write all my own raps, your all my own. What? You know, I don't know, but I just want to. No, 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 no. That's and that's make her spill the tea. That's one thing. That's why. That's why they respect me because they sit and watch me write my own rap. Like my boyfriend sit and watch me. He don't try to. He Nigerian, so he don't really be into all. Shout to my Nigerians. He just be. He just be chilling. He just be like, just keep going. Just keep going. I would ask him. I'd be like, you think this hard? Yeah. And he'd be like, you could go harder. And then I'll be like, okay, yeah. bet. You know, because sometimes I'll be thinking something hard, and he'd be like, it's cool. And I'll be, be like, damn. Yeah. Be like, yeah. You could go harder, so I just go harder like that. But no, I write all my own shit. Yeah. Later yeah. down the line, ain't nobody going to ever come out and be like, I wrote for her. No, I don't play this shit. Because right. I feel like a rapper, right? Mm -hmm. Let me say this, then I'm going to let you go. I feel like a rapper, your talent is to be a poet. Your talent is to write. Mm -hmm. As a singer, it's okay to have writers because your talent is to sing. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, especially when you first come out and you got other people writing for you, that's not true. We're not fans of you. We're fans yes. of whoever the fuck writing for you. Yeah. And that's just how I feel. So it's like, I don't, I don't look down on people that, that get writers, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the big name artists that we listen to to this day, get everybody to write for them. Like, they do not write for themselves. But me, I would never be that type of person because I just I've been writing since I was in fourth. You love grade. to write, yeah. yeah. Like I love to write. That's You're a creative person. Yeah, it's very therapeutic to me, so I like to write. All right, all right. 
So, <laughs> but I'll be banging those. Yeah. She said, but I'll be banging oh, okay. those. Okay, I put my face but, in. But um, one more, one more question, and I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all ladies just, you know, no, you good. Y'all, y'all, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I saw wanna, that I want to know. Nice. I want to know what do you tell your um, your daughter about your music and stuff like that. What, what what do you portray to her? Um, she, you know, it's so crazy. I really just ask her what she think, and I didn't even know how smart she was. Right? Shout so, out to Lyric, by the way. Lyric, what's up? Hey, Lyric, Lyric, you want to say something? Uh uh, she's very shy. Okay. She's, <laughs> she's very shy. She's like, beautiful. She, thank you. Thank Sorry you so about much. that, Larry. No, you good. You good. She don't like a lot of attention. I don't know why. Hopefully, she got it because her mama love attention. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> it'll come. It'll come. Here you go. But um, I let her listen to my music one day. And I was like, what do you like? So on the first, on intro, I talked about her in there. She said, well, I like that one because you said taking me back to school and putting money in my account. <laughs> then on a big kilo, I said, well, what do you like about that one? She said, because you was talking about yourself a lot. She didn't really like 225. She said it was too rough. And um, she liked in my bag. She liked it. She liked the fun music. And she don't really like the hood stuff. Cause she's just a bubbly child. But she actually was... I just it just made me happy to know that she really was just listening. Yeah. She was like, Yeah, you talked about me, that one you was talking about yourself. Um, this one, no, it was rough, my it was rough. And I was just like, Oh, she's so sweet. But she'd be like, You got a new song yet? You got a new oh. song yet? So she'd be telling people like, My mama, she gotta make songs, she so she can make us some money. Yeah. And so she can buy me toys and I'd be like, Oh, she's Christmas so coming. Christmas right. coming. Oh, she asked yeah. me today, so when we leave here, um, can you take me to the store? And I was just like, girl, she I don't really know, got possibly. A thousand dollar unicorn in her head. Oh, God. And with her little Juventus shirt. Girl, it's your own. <laughs> she's shy. She's she shy. She don't really. So why'd you do the beginning like this though? What was the whole point? Because you know? like, this is just, like, this one I feel is like one of the most different tracks I've heard from. I'm going to tell you why. I was going through my nigga phone one night, right? Uh, when he was saying, yeah. I'm gonna be real. Y'all want to get my shit? Oh, oh, yeah, that's a shit. I wasn't going to hear that. Story. So, when I was going through his phone one night, he was asleep. And I, don't, I wasn't really looking for nothing, but I just clicked on like a promote. I, I just was clicking on people. And I remember it was this one promoter, he wanted me at this club. And then all of a sudden, my man was like, nah, we're not doing it no more. So when I saw the name, I clicked on it to find out why we wasn't doing it no more. And basically, he was just trying to say like, she wouldn't be shit without Domination Nation. Wow. She wouldn't be good. So, cause we told him how much I cost and it's not right. even expensive, you know what I'm saying? But he was just like, I wouldn't even pay just Britney dead. Like I wouldn't even, okay, but I'm not her. Just you know what I'm saying? Just wait, it's just and wait. That's what I'm saying. He was like, I mean, he was just like, so if y'all gonna come in here and if y'all not gonna fuck the club up, then we don't. So basically he was trying to book me to book them to come and spend money in the yeah. club. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want to pay it, so he was just like, nah, like, honestly, nobody wouldn't book her, nobody wouldn't fuck with her if it wasn't for y'all. And when I read that, I wrote this that's whole motivation. song tonight mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I was just like, that's like, I'm the first thing is, sick and tired of people thinking they gonna star in me. You wanna book me for the club, don't wanna pay that fee. I'm going up, uh, I can't book you, I drink. Yeah. Should, 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 should I bring it back for you? Like, yeah. Yeah. you wanna, yeah. Should we do it? Yeah. Yeah. Should we do it? Yeah. This is for all those clubs who are not booking K. Kilo. Yeah, all those clubs talking shit yeah, about CEO domination <laughs> and K. Kilo for you. He had me fucked up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the mic is yours, K. Kilo. Let them know. Your Hot camera. That's yeah. Vibes Radio T Club. K kilos in the building. It's long though. This Gigi's. song really get y'all chills. I know, I like it. Every time I'm in the car, but it's like, yeah, right. Gigi, you didn't even ask the question yet. No, it's story. Me wanna book me for the club? I wanna pay that fee. I'm going up. I can't book you. Shit, I'm going up. 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 Shit, I'm you won't feel me to everybody you know Wish bad on your success and couldn't take it that you grew Focus on the level up, taking my daughter back to school Put a mill in her account and swimming harder than it's blue Used to put me on their wings, now I'm chasing the cheddar More sauce than wings, stop in American Delhi We got the drums for everyone who wanna get this respectful flat Line a nigga quick, I'm talking lemon and pepper yeah. Now y'all done got me started I won't rap about my pussy What's in that nigga while that dick ride When the cloud come Waiting on my outcome Fuck you if you ain't believe Fuck your opinions if you got some Trying to tell them that I'm built like that I'm Trying to keep it yeah. very cute Cause you win like that Think twice with your buttons For you sin like that yeah. That might have went over your head Just know I been like that 
Whole gang folded and it hurt in my pride We ain't ordering no food, but they choosing them sides Think it's time to cut it out, cause I ain't paying no mind Tread life where you step before you down that line, bitch And I ain't never gon' stop in this bitch All I told you was before I got the locks in this bitch Eating beats too much, I'm finna pop in this bitch Ain't nothing funny, I ain't Chris, you can rock for a dick so I walk in the back just to hide my car Now I'm in the front and don't you go too far Slimy bitches wanna hit me, I'm gon' foster you scar It just turn it up, the turn it up, turn take it up I ain't talking about a job, but keep low gon' blow. Never stop in red light, you know they creepin' slow. They be watching from a Barely enjoy this show. Sun ain't gotta be a thing, or you can see this slow. Starving for a thing, I'ma come get this cold. Broke niggas be the loudest, you be screaming, bro. Ah, get your bread up, they waiting for me to let up. I was nine, we was six, I with the beef, you better catch up. Get your, get, get your bread up, they waiting for me to let up. I was nine, we was six, I with the beef, you better catch up. I ain't talking decorations. I tell you it's the setup. I ain't talking swimming pools when I say I'll get you wet up. Tick, tick, boom. I think this time I really went off. Got this shit on lock, man. Fuck you in your letter. That's right, it's right off our EP. You ain't heard yet. That was the intro. Yo, Woo! She lit. Uh -uh. Yeah, I need to get to the I felt it. She said, she said, I used to hide it. She used to park at the back just to hide my car. I'm barely in the front. Don't you go too far. Y'all need to get it back. After that, it gets harder. Y'all need to get it back. Don't worry, we're coming back to it. 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 Don't worry, that's right, DQ Hooker, that's right, Marquis, our sponsor today. Shout out to our sponsors, K Kilo's in the building, Rose Picard's in the building too, Destiny's in the building. Quick break, we'll be right back. Your favorite radio station. This is Afro Vibes Radio Houston. <laughs> We're back on Chico. My name's Evan Moto. I'm here with K Kilo, Rose Bacara, and uh, that's right. We got Wear Models in the building, Harlow's in the building, Simone's in the building. That's right. And it goes in the building, Daniela Camacho. Fashionably late, but came through with a purple sweater. So, you know, you get points for that. And she came through with yeah, Kalachi, too. Kalachi, send us a check because we're shouting you out over here. That's right. Jesus. I'm sorry. Kayla, what's going on in there? You're all. It's all I saw. Blame it on the guy in it. Blame it on the guy. That's right. Like, Kayla's here. Ashley's here too. That's right. Asha Tracks here. Gigi Sway. That's right. Like, Lyrics in the building. Kayla's here too. That's right. Megan's here. That's right. Rose is here too. So we were talking. What were we talking about? We were talking about something. Music. I know we were talking about music. Though. They had a question. Megan's got a question. Megan. Shoot your shot, mommy. Okay, so I don't want to come off as like this is or anything. But we can't hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you, but Megan. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Okay, so you said something earlier about like how rap is all about like your craft. Uh huh. So you know, I had like this like discussion with my homegirl about like if you don't write your raps but you know how to perform them. Doesn't that just make you like an entertainer? Like, mm. don't you feel like it's all about how you can present the craft more mm -hmm. so than just writing it? That too. That just like I said, I don't look down on it because mm -hmm. you know some of the top female artists right now they got writers. They write all that stuff. Like Cardi B. I'm just not gonna do that because I fuck with her. But mm -hmm. her city girls. No, I fuck with her too. Yeah. City girls. Yeah. All of them. Like they don't. They don't write none of their rap. Oh really? They perform no. I didn't like, know city girls. Yeah. No, they don't. They don't. Yeah, it's no, it's no shade towards them, you know what I'm saying? I think JT does, but yeah. Act Up wasn't written. Twerk wasn't written. Oh, no. Rico Love wrote Twerk. Act mm. Up, um, Yachty yeah. wrote Act Up. So their biggest songs, somebody else wrote them. Mm. And it's no shade towards them because, you know what I'm saying, they, they are still lit. They still make girls want to be like them. They still make girls look up to them or, you know, whatever the case may be. So it's fine, but I just, I just personally feel like, you know, Hip hop is just different. Yeah, you, know, you could just say that because back in the day, you needed that talent. It ain't no way somebody could just be like, here, you just do this and just. So you think good. it's the whole package? It's just nowadays, it's, you gotta have a whole package. Mm -hmm. If you can't write, as long as you're pretty, your body look nice, you can sell, you're marketable. Mm -hmm. Boom, you out of here. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But back in the day, it wasn't it. It was you either had to have bars, mm -hmm. or you didn't. Mm -hmm. 
And it's just, you can just, it just changed. You know, and it's about clout. It's a lot of people that get signed just because they already got a whole bunch of followers. Mm -hmm. They can, they can have like a million followers by doing skits on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Then the next day say, I'm going to be a rapper. Mm -hmm. And they get signed. Yeah. It's clout so signing. It's clout signing. It's so easy. Yeah. So it's just like, they don't really have a lot of true artists like that in the game no more. So I just hope that I could be that person because I write all my shit and I stand on it. Mm -hmm. I, nigga could take my whole career away if a nigga could ever come out and say I wrote for Kilo. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't look down on it. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's your craft. You know, mm -hmm. but I just feel like that's what I'm bringing to the game is I'm my own self. I'm bubbly. I write my own raps and I'm a package. I'm marketable and my ass fat. So. Okay. <laughs> I like that part. I like the music and that part. Bro. But I'll be banging those. Woo! Bro, so, mm -hmm. You said when you when when you, when your play brother, you know, linked y'all up, you knew she was a superstar. What made you feel like this young lady was a superstar? Mm -hmm. Um, so I feel like I'm a music head, right? So I grew up on like I always say that Eve was my mom growing up and DMX was my dad growing up. <laughs> Pretty mm -hmm. much a Jay Z. This is some I, hard people. Yeah, because I'm from the East Coast, so like that's what Rough Riders was like the thing dun, I did. Like, dun, dun, everybody dun. had the Rough Rider chains and the cash yeah, money yeah. chains, or everybody went to that whole I was in New York at that time. Really? Yeah. So the first concert I ever went to was a backstage concert. I was fifteen and I was backstage. Which was crazy. But anyway, it was crazy. <laughs> so like, I and feel like Dragon. Man, Dragon was dragon. lit. <laughs> I got like a little Dragon. Yeah, yeah she does know that Dragon. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like a female Dragon. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so like, I feel like I've I've always been a music head even since I was a child. So like, um, I'm real big on like music. I'm real big on lyrics. So the first time I heard her song, I was like, Yo, she dope. I like that. And then yeah, freestyle. Yeah, the her freestyle first. And um, I didn't even know it was her. I was in the club because you know that's what we live at. We live in the club. So I'm like, damn, who's that? And I was like, oh, that's KK. I was like, that's KC. I was like, who? Well, oh. <laughs> oh, that little bitch hard. <laughs> like she go. So um, anyway, fast forward. You know, yeah, she's hard. We had a conversation one day, and like just the way she talks about just her passion and like how much she cares about it, and like how much. And she could chill, like, yeah. So this time next year, we're gonna be here. We're gonna be on the yacht. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> video, you know what I'm saying? She talks like that, like she really believes in herself. And it's hard to find somebody who really believes in themselves and really believe that their craft is gonna take them where they wanna go. A lot of people say, like, oh I think I can make it or I, I guess I can do it. She's like, nah, bitch, I'm next. What's up? Right. And I love that about her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it seems like a lot of women in Houston are just dominating. Yeah. Dominating like the music, you know, like you know, like, I think, like, I mean, outside of Travis, you know, there's a lot of people rapping, but, like, women are killing it. Lizzo, mm -hmm. oh, Kay Kilo, Megan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's it. It. Period. <laughs> what's the, what's the other name? But I'm banging those. Period. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so that's yeah, you know, know, I'm banging those. Period. 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 That's a great thing. There's some other shit that I know. Go ahead. What you well, no, say the other shit. Yeah, what's the other shit? Yeah, okay. Nothing. Okay. Nothing worth talking no, about. Well, well, <laughs> that's, a, that's a big thing. But I'll be banging those. I know a lot of, I know a lot of broke people with, with great ideas. So, I mean, you just need somebody to be behind you and oh, have somebody that really believe you, right? You know what? That's what I said. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I said that at my EP release party. And it's so crazy these days. You could be dope as hell, right? And people won't listen to you if you don't got no money behind you. That's why I respect my boyfriend so much because it's like, I'm dope as hell. But I don't think people would be fucking with me the way Houston is fucking with me right now if he didn't put the bag behind me. And it's just true. It's just like that. Like, in the music industry, it's not about talent no more. It's about clout and it's about bread. Mm -hmm. If you don't got clout and you don't got bread, it's, it's, it's very seldom that you'll make it. Well, it's I'm, sad. I'm fucking with you just because I heard you say, little bitch. But I'll be banging on something. If I touch me in the club, I'm like, fucking bitch. with you. I'm fucking with the bag. I'm fucking with the lyrics. He loved the whole persona. He loved it. Y'all don't even see the room. Any other song she don't say on the fucking table. That's like, what we think. You're like, oh shit. I feel like she hold it back. Too much. Yeah, no. Too much. Who? I'm you hold it back too much. You over here being nice. I want to be nice. I want to turn up. Is it because the lyric is here? No. Nah, I don't know. I'm, but I feel like I'm being Kilo right now. I'm just not Kilo times 10 right now. I'm okay, yeah, yeah, that's I'm what I'm not Kilo. Kilo 5 or 6. Kilo, I'm chilling. What's Kilo. the next project? Kilo. 
So, Kilo. Kilo. Ben and I just dropped the EP um, November 7th. We just gonna push that out through the rest of the year. I'm gonna do some videos. Um, a lot of people fucking with in my bag. It's very commercial. It's very high, and they think that they could pop. So we finna push that all the way out. We finna shoot the video next week for that. Fendi Facts could be a strip club yeah. anthem, you know. So we yeah, running that. Like strip clubs. We running that through like that, and then hopefully like in January or February I could drop another tape. I'm ready to drop something else right now. Like as soon as I was done with, you ain't heard yet. I started working on the next project, and that's just how I am. I don't really just sit on shit because you never know. You could be like, this gon' pop, and it don't. And then it's just like, you done waited too long, and now your buzz gone. No, a lot of artists do that. So I just I just keep my shit going. We like it. Yeah. You got some videos coming out with you guys going on? Um, about to shoot a video? Yeah. What's your first video to do? In the back. Um, in my bag. So we shooting that, we shooting that next week, um, like Friday. And um, hopefully we really, hopefully if you Next week Friday, like, that's Black Friday, that's Radio Fridays. Hey. Like, yeah. Can hopefully. you bring it to the club? Can I bring it to the club? Yeah, I'm about to get, get, get a scene from that Radio Friday. Uh, I don't know, I'm trying to be on some different shit in this Ooh, video, yeah, yeah, That's what we need, I'm trying shit. to be on some different, like, like. In the back, for real? Yeah. That was my thoughts. I see. That you know that. You know, I ain't know already. You know that. I know you said you don't need a lot of turn up friends. I didn't say you need video. That's what we do. We got all of these things. Okay, you need some girls. Okay, good. We got a team full. Okay, bitch. No, no, for real. We got a little bit. Because I need these girls in my bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
Club. Put your hands up. I can't wait to throw my hands up. I want to I wanna ask, you, I wanna ask you more about your hometown. Like, how does that um, go into your music? How do you, being from Baton Rouge, Rouge, how does that go into your music? That's why I'm ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Baton Rouge. That's that we why I'm talking the way I'm talking. I've been in Houston since late February, so really the beginning of the April. Damn. So I haven't been in a year. No, I ain't been out in Houston in a year. So and I just I appreciate all the love that I get. So this is Louisiana um, music we're listening to, baby. Yeah, it's Louisiana music. It's like, um, I don't know. It's just me. It's not really because, like, Louisiana music don't really sound like this unless you listen to 225. Now, 225, how I came up with 225 was I listened to Kevin Gates. I think he my dad. Mm -hmm. And I love Gates. So, um, on his new album, he just dropped his first, his intro song was Real Big Speaker. And I listened to it every day. And I hit my uh, producer and I was like, please make me a beat just like this. And I wrote this song in like 15, 20 minutes because I was so inspired by this. Now, this is Baton Rouge for sure. But my other stuff, is just been on Well, a lot of... Well, not a lot, but I know a Houston rapper that does write, write some of Kevin Gates music. Oh, me too. I yeah. know. So, Chose. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. That my nigga. Shout out DJ Chose. Shout out DJ Chose. We just did something for him. He's a DJ Chose all over this place. He was, yeah. Cal he worked with oh, no, Calvin no. too. Yeah, he last week. People don't even know. That's, that's Chose. Chose yeah, on so, so Chose write a lot of um, Kevin Gates music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I feel like you do have a little Houston in you. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I, I feel like I got Houston in me. You want to know why? Because I feel like Louisiana and Houston, we like cousins. Yeah. I grew up listening to Zero yeah. and trading hey, them. You know what hey. I'm saying? see Big Mo and them like, yeah. oh, you both still getting no love. All you can get is a fuck you. I like, I, I like I them. I really do. You know what I'm saying? So it's love. Like, yeah. I feel like we cousins. Yeah. yeah. Bad, bad, bad. Well, since you're all talking about Houston music, what's going on? Are we going to get an Afrobeat track? Um, you know what, DJ Ariel asked me to do that, and I don't have no issue doing it, you know, I just don't want to make the song, because it's like, I can't make an Afrobeat song, it's like, I could feature on, I could feature myself on it, but he wanted me to, like, make the whole track, and it's just like, how the fuck I'm gonna make the whole track, I'm not even Nigerian, I'm not even African, you know what I'm saying, but... I mean, it's gonna come soon. Your man, but your Nigerian. boyfriend, you yeah. kissing a Nigerian. Too. Yeah, but that's but that's that goes to show y'all. Don't nobody write for me but me. Yeah, like, sure. you got Chris Brown and Davido. That song is fire. Yeah, but you guess know. what? But guess what? He Davido probably Davido orchestrated the track. The yeah. track. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I'm you fully got, American. I can't just orchestrate a whole Afro vibe. I could see yeah. what like I say. Like I like him. He's uh -huh. like a major art, like African. Oop. I like him. I don't know him. My favorite one is Burn the Boy. Burn the Boy. I can see you and Burn the Boy on the track. Burn the Boy. Burn the Boy. Burn the Boy. Burn the Boy. You know what I'm talking about? I like what you know, I don't even like jollof rice. I like you the don't? I you don't? I'm gonna tell you why I don't like it. Drop I don't like the smoky taste. I don't really? like that y'all burn it. No. I just said I like the coconut rice. I just don't like the smoke. You can't get mad at me because I was like, I think it was just a bad batch. It was a bad Yeah, it was a bad batch. Like, it tastes burnt, and I'm Nigerian. I love We was together. We were together, and it was burnt. But that was a bad batch. It was just a bad batch. She got to get a good one. She got to get a good one. Rose, hey, Rose, Rose, are you are you African too? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody thinks I'm Nigerian, but I'm like fake African. I've been around Nigerian. I'm from Baltimore. Same. Like, I'm fake Nigerian. And so like I grew up around like Nigerians, and then I ended up being engaged to one one time. What happened to that time? Well, you know, I was engaged to Ebo, and then I, you know, they crazy as hell. Yeah, she was going with a demon. Okay. So I had a year of a guy for that, you know, after that, I fell in love. I love it. Oh, yo, I got that sauce. So sweet. Yo, I got the sauce. Y'all want to know what I love about a lot. Yeah, Ash, you're going to marry a year of a guy. I had a year of a man. What up? Never again. Yeah. Well, I mean, they all cheat and shit, but like, you know, other than that. Black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. So, Rose, let's talk a little bit about, you know, some of the services that you provided to K Keeler. 
you know, what type of services did you provide to? Because I know assessor consultant, Kiki, what she provide to you? Um, shit, she, I wouldn't have had no EP party if it weren't for her. So, you know, she, she made sure my, my EP party was good. I got a lot of merch done through her. You know, I got my liquor sponsored through her. It was just, it was like a lot of stuff. You know, she did my, my merch website. What else she did, bro? You did a whole bunch of shit. Whatever you need to do. Yeah, but I, was very, but I was very hands on with her too. You know what I'm saying? I didn't just be like, okay, you do everything. I still was just like, okay, no, I could do this part, so I'll do this part, bro. Or if, I, if it was something that I know I could do, I did it. You know, just to not throw all the work on her. But and I'm, I'm real big about like when I work with people and do events for them or do something with them that's supposed to be a representation of them. I want you to tell me what you like and what you don't like. I call you what you think about this. Okay. You like this, you like. And then she says something, and I think they all like, well, wait, maybe we shouldn't do this, and then I'll explain why. I'm not one of the people like, okay, this is what I think. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. No, I want it to be a representation of you and who you are, especially like our first EP party. It's supposed to be right. something that's like. Ooh, hey, I wish y'all would have been there. It was so lit. I was yeah. so lit. Yeah. Y'all gotta go watch the Y'all gotta watch the recap on my page. It was lit. Come do something for the shop. Oh, I will. Oh, oh definitely. Yeah. Oh, she was just telling me about you. You bitches gonna have to step that fucking shit up. Cause bitch, I'm eating out here. Watch this. Let's get the bitches pretty clean. I'm catching checks that don't bounce. 21 was in my bag. I want you to cut me a house. That's right. Nigga, not for nothing unless I'm cat in this mouth. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So I do that. So let's get started. So Jesus is not in this part mm. of the equation. Mm -hmm. I believe in God. Everything is connected. I, I don't know why people connect with spirituality or everything with not Jesus. Everything's like, that's why I believe in religion in a sense because it's all teaching you, showing you the same route and it's God. I know God myself, you know, but no disrespect to anybody else. Yeah. You know, so overall you have the hermit, which is like a Virgo card, but this is how you like getting into yourself, meditating, just kind of like separating yourself and just kind of getting in your zone as you know what you do. Um, uh, kind of separating yourself from people. You have the three of wands. It's like, you kind of, instead of having other people work on you, you kind of start working on yourself. Also, you have the temperance. I don't know if it's like a Sagittarius card. It's like you're trying to work, it's trying to focus on your balance, how you feel internally. Also, you have the chariot, which is like you moving forward. It's like once you get yourself together, you're going to move uh, and prepare forward. But like, you also have the strength card, which is a Leo. You have this strength. Um, you a Leo. I forgot you was. <laughs> you a Leo card. So you got the strength inside of you. It's like, okay, I know I got a lot of internal things to work on by myself. So I'm going to keep heading forward. And it's not from like what I'm listening to. It's just a clarification. Yeah. But even though people are not giving you the things that you need with like gifts, affirmations, like you got this, you got this, you just got this for yourself. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just give you some advice real quick. Um, see what they have to say to you. So far, I saw like the five of wands in the reverse. So it's like you just kind of stop fighting people at this point. Oh shit! Goddamn! All right, give me a second. Oh, that's true. Thank you, baby girl. She mess your head up. Huh? So it's like right now you're just kind of resting. I don't know if you're going to therapy right now, but it's like you just you just taking a chill pill right now. It's just kind of like you have a lot going on for yourself, but at the same time you do need some time to like rest. Don't push yourself too hard because you do got this chariot which is like on the go. So don't just keep pushing yourself too hard. To another part. Another card mm -hmm. oh, Okay, cool. And then you also have the lover's card in reverse. So it's like, it's not saying a breakup or nothing, but it's saying to focus on yourself internally. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you might have some mm, I don't know, demons, but like a lot of thoughts in your mind. So it knows like to rest yourself and focus on your self love. Also, you have the Nine of Wands. Start taking things in your own hand, which you already doing, and I think you're doing a pretty damn good job. It's like, instead of you letting other people, because if you look at the Three of Wands, what is he doing? Okay, see. Oh, shit. <laughs> so it's like, you know, Three of Wands oh, is like... okay, yeah, he pulling, yeah. Yeah, but instead of other people doing it, you doing it by yourself. But don't push yourself too hard. But other than that, though, I think you're on the right track. Just work on your internal self. Don't get out of balance, you know. Start working towards... I, mean, I would say like meditate in a sense, you know, that's just me yeah. for advice wise. Uh, rest, don't push yourself too hard. Also, take control too, whenever you need to. Mm -hmm. And that's what I got so far. This is a quick general reading. Oh, I like it. That was dope. Yeah, she, was she, <laughs> see, I got your back. You I came mean, over here to take off now, I got your yeah, tarot was, reading. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do readings. Um, my first, uh, anyone that comes to me, they get like a first reading. And then, like, it's free, you know what I'm saying? Then, like, after it's like five or five minutes, because I think, you know, a lot of people that go through a lot of things. So, I think it's like a good um, price for anyone. It's like, okay, I'll go for like 10 minutes, 20 yeah. minutes. It just, it don't take nothing from you. Just look at it for a couple of minutes and just take what you need to work on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Got a YouTube? Check that out if you feel like you're scared, because a lot of people are like, I'm scared. I'm like, don't be scared. Oh, how they say? I'll be scared. <laughs> <laughs> you know, go check out my YouTube. It's Indigo LaFaith. If you want to uh, DM me, it's Indigo dot Um Also, I'm gonna be working on music, but I need to find a good producer because I have songs written and stuff of that nature. So oh, I, I feel like you would know. Yes. Yes. I don't share no, but I'm with you. So I, I need to get my know. music out. She said, so, ladies and gentlemen, that is yes. Indigo, <laughs> the in-house yes. witch. Indigo. <laughs> 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 that's why in a in house astrologer. That's why she's no witch. <laughs> you call me a witch. Oh yeah, I read your birth charts too. So <laughs> me, you me too. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me give Destiny one more chance. Destiny. So yeah, Destiny. No, no, please don't fight with me. I can oh, fight. No. I can. I'm a lover, not fight. <laughs> Destiny from balanced perfection. Yes. So, pass those around. That's right. So Destiny's got some gems and she's got some Destiny is like no. Destiny what how, what do you think about K Kilo skin and this product? Do you want to want to talk about your product and how I can help oh, K Kilo look skin. like more of a superstar? So, um, this product is an all-natural okay. moisturizer. Yes. Um, our product line is called Balanced Perfection. Uh -huh. I created it for myself because I was actually looking for she a natural solution and alternative to everything that is mass manufactured. 
everything on the shelves has chemicals in it. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make something that was plant derived um, and that definitely gave me the benefits that I wanted but um, wasn't harming my body. So um, this is made of plants, fruits and vegetables, extracted oils, it has 14 of them, aloe vera and a natural bacteria fighting agent. It's very efficient and quick, you just shake and spray and it comes in four scents, orange, lemongrass, citrus, eucalyptus and lavender. Ooh, eucalyptus. So it's great, it's multi-purpose, it's good for your hair and your skin because we have hair follicles in our skin. So we can use it on everybody. Yeah, so Kiki, that one's for you. This is for me? Yeah, that's for you. Thank you. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it today. I you can use it. Let's see I'll show you how to use it, too. Hi, Larry. I have some more. I mean, I didn't know how many people were going to be here, so I brought these samples so mm -hmm. that whoever wanted one could take one with them. I want one with them. Thank you. Thank you. Look, I need somebody to help me around, Brett. Look, y'all, y'all, let's smell it. They all have different smells. Don't open it. Kiki, don't pass it around. You won't get it back. It smells like Florida. Oh, yeah. So just unscrew them. And you can smell them. Oh, I like it. Let her explain to you. Like, the like I talked to her earlier about like skin types. Like I have a dry skin. And you have a what? Giraffe? Giraffe. Uh, giraffe. 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 Yeah. Okay. Giraffe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, my face feels like. Roll those eyes, like, mommy. After I wash my face, and like she gave me like this whole philosophy on like that's all. Different. Are you single? Am I single? I depends on who's asking. Not <laughs> <laughs> right. We're all asking. <laughs> the world is asking. Because I know girls. <laughs> Who don't have men, they get dry skin, so... Oh, that's funny. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's not on top of it. I got a Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So why do girls know how to have dry skin? I just heard. Is it like in protein? Oh, that's it. I'm asking. Lucky to do it. Hey, 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 Lucky to do it. So what about, so yes, Kate Keeler is our superstar, so we want to make sure when she's going out into the world, she's ready. So now you know so you're this, reading. Oh yeah, so this now you got some beauty products. So what about some crystals? Because Crystals? Don't you well, make, because you just... I don't make what, you, what I gave you on the ring on your finger. But you sell it. Them. No, I actually have friends that make them. I have three okay. um, friends that do. And it's going to give you a nice glow. But it doesn't leave any residue or any film. No mm. greasy film. It doesn't dirty that nice white silk shirt. Hey, when I, I'm going to get home, I'm going to take this wig off. I'm going to take a couple of these off, girl. Period. Yeah, I'm going to take this wig off. Oh, that's a wig. It's a hair curl. Oh, that's a wig. I don't know, gang. That's all I wear is wigs. Thanks for teaching us these secrets. And I'm going to brush my hair. So, look, let me just show you. So, you just shake it and you just spray it. Oh, that's. And you let it penetrate. You don't have to rub it in. Oh, you yeah. let it what? Penetrate? Penetrate. Right. 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 She said penetrate. Close your eyes. Like, what, what are we penetrating? <laughs> your skin is Penetrating the skin. Got it. Right, yeah. Skin, yeah. skin yeah. penetration. Yeah. We're talking about skin penetration right now. Men need to practice no, self-care uh, a lot more. I don't That's believe there's a market for you all. Especially black men. What are you looking at me like? Y'all use what we use as women. Y'all use dial. I need a nurse to take care of me. It is. It helps me. It helps me. I don't play that shit. I got that wrist. Oh, Dub. Irish. I can get you cleanser, toner, moisturizer. Y'all use that shit. That shit make your skin dry. Which one? Nutri Tina? Irish Springs. Oh, yeah. Irish Springs. Come on. I only use Dub. I only use Dub. Or you can use some black soap. Black soap. Oh, yeah. Y'all have that from Nigeria. But it be making me dry too. Yeah. Yeah, it does make that. And it makes the bathtub real dirty. And ladies don't like that. Girls don't like dirty bathtubs. Like, as soon as you take a bath, it's like all black. What the hell is this black shit? Right. What the I want to infuse that with the oils to kind of give it a more moisturizing. Call it like black diamond soap or something. They call it black soap. Oh, black soap. I'll call it something else. Yeah, My friends over here, they soak quite awesome. Yeah, exactly. Ash too. Ash is Ash. Ash is that? What? The Ashley. Yeah. Is that is that Come a new again. is that a new one? I think it's the Ashley thing. It's On the phone. Ash. A new what? Oh. No, a new, a no, new no, prospect. No, no, no. I was reading something. Okay. All right. A new, what? <laughs> a new man. A new boo boo. <laughs> I, have, I have another question for Miss K. Can I find Miss K? Yes. Okay. Miss K Kilo. <laughs> so. How do you balance, you know, being in a relationship, mm -hmm. being a mom, and being like an upcoming incredible yeah. athlete? I get a like hundred and ten I get hundred and ten percent support from my family with my daughter. Um 
my boyfriend, he kind of really makes everything easy for me. He really make it to, it's actually, thank you, God. He make it to where all I really got to do is write songs, rap, be myself, push myself. Like, man, he don't really make me do nothing yes. else like that. He just make it to where it's just, like, and just take care of him. You know, like, cook at home, you mm -hmm. know, make sure he good, cook. clean up, yeah. you know, wash my life. I hear that, I hear that, cook at home. He cook sometimes, he cooked breakfast yesterday. Mm -hmm. We got friends. Yeah. Um, he got all, all of them. Fuck a friend, don't he got a brother? Ladies and gentlemen. Where the fuck is my homeboy? I'm going to say one that's thing. All my gentlemen out there, that's right. If you like anybody here, send me your question. No, I'm going to say it. I'm going to fucking say it. This is the Tears Club, right? That's right. K.K. let's take it. Say it. Say it. Spell. All his friends ain't shit like that, though, because she got one and she got one. She got, she had. She had no, one. She had. She kind of, I don't know what's going on. I'm going, I shall take care of it. So he's the black sheep. Yes, friend. black sheep. Black, black, black. I can't speak the language. You don't want his friends. I'm going to tell you, you don't really want his friends. Now, one thing I can say, some of his friends got a bag. Some of his friends got a bag. No, they don't. Some of his friends got a bag. They don't. I'm in my music. I just did mine. Sorry, sorry. I just did mine. No, I'm not doing this shit with y'all. What's his? Who you talking about? What's his name? Don't say his name in there. Yeah, we can't do that. Oh, my boy. Oh, my boy. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. My boy forgot the bag. I don't give a fuck. But. Listen. Yeah, you don't want his friends. Because friend. he got a bag. Yeah, he got a bag. Yeah, he got a bag. Yeah, he got You can find his business partners. You don't want his friends. All right. Okay. I like, you know, you're not like, oh, look what you want to do. No. Fuck no. Let her. Let's go. I got too many homegirls that's going to be looking at me like, oh, you want to go to my friends. Right. Right. I feel you. Shit, okay? And then y'all gonna be mad at me. Exactly, because every time I go to the they come back, look, oh my god. I'm like, I'm gonna tell you for three months, I need a man. That's real, though. You need a man, Simone? No. Yes, me, do I got friends? I'm sorry. What do you want? You need a girl? Yeah. I got friends, but not for you. Oh, God. Oh, God. That part. No, bad. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. Unfortunately, we gotta go, because I know KQ has got a hair appointment. I need my hair done for real. Yeah, I know. So, so K Kilo, Kilo's got to go, but Rose is going to stay through, and that's why we're going to bring the CEO of Jalof Republic in here. Let's, let's beat him up on his new app. And <laughs> we're going to talk to Rose about Assessor Consulting, and then we're going to talk to Jalof Ross. So, please don't leave all my guests, all my co hosts. That's right. K Kilo, we love you. Yeah. Your new EP. Fire. Your, new, your new EP is fire, fire. Yeah. by the way. Fire. That's right. Please, we know you're, you're coming for Radio Fridays which is on Black Friday out of zero, so we really would like to see you there. We know you're coming anyway. Thank you so much. Um, you want to say anything to the T-Club fans? Okay, Kilo, got keys for locks. You ain't heard yet. Yeah. I might solo, <laughs> bitches fake up in their purses. Hey. Gang. You know, you know what? But let's, let's, let's close out the show with, like, you know, um, which, what's what the other one? Say? What's the name of that? Tell yeah. us where we can find you, your Instagram, all that. Oh, yeah, y'all can follow me on Instagram at K A Y Y K I L O. And that's on everything. That's on Twitter, that's on Snapchat. I think that's on Snapchat. It's either, if it's not Snapchat, it's my Snapchat is that's Casey. But on my all other social media, it's K Kilo, K A Y Y K I L O. On Apple Music, K A Y Y K I L O. Spotify, K A Y Y K I L O. <laughs> Kilo everywhere. It's Kilo, so Kilo. 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 Is it on all those platforms too? Uh, yeah, my music yeah. is on every platform. Mm -hmm. If you yeah, trying to Kilo. watch me on YouTube, go run my streams up. Spotify, Tidal, Apple up. Music, oh, iTunes. Um, shit, everything. How can get your merch? One more thing. You can get my merch. You click the link in my bio, and sometimes I'll be posting it on my story so you can swipe up. Go get my merch. Um, What's next it's year? gonna be lit. I got hoodies. I got t-shirts. Next year. Next year. Know. Next year we up, and next year I, I guarantee you I'm gonna be on one of the rolling outs, if not all of them. But I'm gonna make my way oh, on the rolling out. That's my goal. Advice, okay. Yes, huh? Don't forget the advice I gave you. Okay. Oh, I won't. I won't forget it at all because it was kind of true though. Like I. I really mentally do be having to get my shit together from from the situation that happened. Yeah, Dizzy. keep doing what you're doing, baby girl. So it's like I still battle that, but mm -hmm. music keeps me sane, so mm -hmm. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Keep you balanced. There you go, yeah. This is the T Club. Shout out to K Kilo. A shout out to Lyric as well. Uh -huh. Lyric, your mom's super talented. She's Aww. gorgeous. She's energy. She's a great model, a role model for you. So we're gonna end it like this. <laughs> K Kilo. Oh yeah, show us producers, guys.
Show us how we dance to this one. I do not know how to put you on a handstand, but I can show you how I hit my shoulder dip, dip in my sauce. I got that chip. Yeah. <laughs> so, you ready? Yeah. Daniela, you want to show me how to dance to this show one? Show us how we do it. Show us how you do the dip. Oh, show the dip. Show the dip. Daniela, show cake here so you can be in a music video. Oh, are you twerk? Oh, oh, oh. So, you got the Megan Thee Stallion knees. Oh, I can twerk. Okay. Can you show us something? The funny thing is, like, we're talking okay. music video. You know, Megan Thee Stallion. It's funny because we gotta go. Was Megan Thee Stallion too? But it was like back when, like, she dancing like what's it like? She dancing like a stallion. What is it called? You know what I'm saying? She dancing like a stallion. That's why I used to throw ass to that song. But now you just you just can't kill her. I've been throwing it. Can we throw it? I'm just not now. Can we throw it? Let me come back a couple of times. Yeah, she's in that thing back there too. Daniela. You want to show us? I'm shy. He was like, no. <laughs> Ladies are retiring today. Love that. Big T Club is shining. I shout out to K Kilo. That's right. Shout out to Larry too. Your favorite radio station. This is Afro Vibes Radio Houston. You can listen to Afro Vibes Radio from anywhere around the world. Simply download our app from the Apple or Google Play Store. You can also listen via TuneIn app or visit our website at afrovibesradio.com and listen live. Afro Vibes Radio, the number one online radio station on the net, reaching over 177 countries around the world. Listen to the best DJs from across the globe on Afro Vibes Radio. We have a DJ representing every country on our station. We're not sure how the music gets from here to your radio, but does it really matter? Just keep listening to Afro Vibes Radio. Today's best music on Afro Vibes Radio.